Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl. Today I'm gonna to talk about my income strategy for 2021. And uh, this video is not creating uh, for the purposes of bragging about income or whatever. I created it for myself because when I uh, plan such videos, I just sit down and really think about my income strategy. I think about resources that I put into different businesses, into different activities. You might say, Marina, but it's already February. Shouldn't you have done this in December 2020? Well, the thing is, this year, year and last year have been a little hectic because um, Dima and I are expecting a second baby in June and Emily is just uh, one year, three months. So they're going to be very close together. And uh, I had to adjust my plans accordingly because with Emily, I couldn't really work the first two weeks after getting her. But in two weeks, I was like, oh my God, I want to get back to work. I want to start making videos. I want to start doing things. But my time was really limited. Now, I don't really know how everything is going to go. And if any moms or dads who have two kids that have small age difference are watching this video, your advice is really, really welcome in comments below because I don't have a lot of friends who have the same situation. But we're super excited. I just uh, realized that from some sources of income where I'm actively involved, I have to just deduct a couple months because I won't be present and I won't be able to participate. Like for example, I won't be able to create videos and make more sponsorships for maybe a month, maybe two. Instagram is uh, a social network that I'm kind of minimizing these days. I just feel that I can bring more purpose here on YouTube um, compared to Instagram. But these are just my first thoughts because I'm, I'm just trying to understand what it's gonna be like to have two kids and have all the activities that I'm gonna talk about in this video. And another um, disclaimer is that I am not calculating taxes and expenses here. I'm gonna talk about them, but you never really know how much you're gonna spend on contractors. You never really know how much, well, you never really know your tax rate until uh, your CPA does all the calculations, but you can estimate. And also another thing, I have been doing things that I'm going to mention for years. It's not like I just started and suddenly boom, I'm making this money. It's years of work and uh, it's not just me it's the whole team and I'm gonna mention who's helping me with what and uh, of course I will have family helping me with the two kids and uh, uh, it's not like I'm doing everything myself so I'm not taking credit for everything that I mentioned here yeah and the last but not the least I'm not going to sell you any get rich fast course so don't be afraid so yeah let's let's get into it let's talk about my sources of income for 2021 and what I estimate to make from those sources of income and it's so funny I have my estimates here but Again, I don't know what's gonna happen in June. I don't know how I'm gonna manage everything. So I'm gonna make a video at the end of 2021 or beginning 2022, and we'll see what actually happens. But yeah, uh, income source number one, Google AdSense, uh, my YouTube income. I wouldn't say it's a passive kind of income because I still have to create videos. I still have to do them, but I don't have to deduct like two or three months when I'm gonna be on maternity leave because the way YouTube works is that once you create a video, it generates money over time, which is great. And I have a lot of, well, I don't have a lot of videos that make a lot of money all the time, but I have some money maker videos that I've created maybe a year ago, maybe a couple of years ago, and they keep generating new views every month and they keep raising my income. If you remember watching one of my previous videos um, where I talked about my YouTube income, I basically have three different channels, Marina Mogilko, my Russian channel, Lingo Marina, my biggest channel with over 3 million followers where I teach people English, and I have a Silicon Valley girl. So the plan is with Lingua Marina, the channel where I teach people English, the content doesn't really depend on things that happen in the world or in my life. So I can just create a lot of videos in advance and this is what I do. I sit down and I create like six or eight videos in a day. And this is my plan for June and July. I will just sit down in like April and create all the videos beforehand, uh, send them off to my team and uh, they will publish them while I rest with a baby. So that channel makes around nine to 10K every month. I have my Russian channel that makes around 5k every month and I have this channel Silicon Valley Girl again it, YouTube you can't really predict it always fluctuates from 3 to 5k but I'm gonna take an average of what I was making in the past few months so I'm gonna take 17k again I can't predict what's gonna happen I've seen income rise over time 
but you know we don't know what's gonna happen in the world and uh, it really depends on how much you guys watch this channel and by the way thank you so much for watching my videos because I owe this income to you guys because every view generates a couple cents so I'm just hoping that this stays consistent throughout the year and uh, it doesn't really matter if I'm actively participating in the channels or I'm taking like a a one month break or a six week break. So let's estimate that I will still make 17K a month for 12 months in 2021, and it's gonna be $204,000. By the way, if you watch my finance videos, what I really like to do as well at the end of every month is to create a spreadsheet where I have every source of income and then expenses related to that exact source of income so I can estimate what's the profit for that uh, source of income. So basically, when we're talking about creating videos on YouTube, I have two YouTube managers who help me with publishing, uh, who help me with scripts sometimes. Um, I have two thumbnail designers. I have two editors because I don't edit myself. You see, I delegated a lot. And this is, by the way, one of the topics for the next videos. I know you, you guys requested it. And sometimes I hire a camera guy who helps me with uh, making my videos. So it is not like a lot of money, but I would estimate like 20% of my YouTube income actually goes into expenses. Now the second source of income really depends on me being actively involved and uh, the source of income is sponsorships. So basically sponsorships is when I collab with a company that I like and uh, I talk about this company in my videos. And you're just about to see one of those sponsorships in action. Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. I had a chance to try them and I really, really enjoyed the experience. First of all, their recipes are really delicious. Fraud juice gets to you faster than a grocery store, so it arrives at peak freshness and flavor. With this meal kit, I was also able to save time because I didn't have to go to a grocery store, and their recipes don't take ages. On average, you can get your dinner on the table in just 30 minutes, or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Cheating. What's also very important for me is that HelloFresh can help you eat more sustainably because they have pre-portioned ingredients, uh, which means there is less prep for you and less wasted food. Because I just hate when I do all the grocery shopping and then at the end of the week I realize I have to throw half of it away and you know it's waste of time waste of money waste of resources they're also very flexible with schedule and menu you can easily change your delivery days of food preferences or skip a week whenever you need it HelloFresh donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and is continuing to step up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis go to hellofresh.com and use my code 10 silicon valley girl to get 10 free meals including free shipping Exactly what I want. Spaghetti with, with some protein. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Again, HelloFresh.com and use my promo code 10 Silicon Valley Girl to get 10 free meals with a free shipping. The link is below. It's really a process. You have a sponsor reach out, you have to provide a script of a video where you're gonna integrate um, their story, their brand, and then you receive all the materials from them and you create the ad. And then there is a process of negotiating the price. So there is a lot. I have a salesperson who helps me with that. She gets paid based on her result. On average, she gets around 10% of all the deals that she's bringing in. And that's basically the only expense associated with sponsorships. But again, I really have to be involved. I can say, you know, keep selling those ads and I'll just take a two month break. So last year I was making around 20 to 30K a month um, on sponsorships. And again, I sell ads on this channel, Lingua Marina, Marina McGilco, and uh, on my Instagram, Lingua Marina. So I'm averaging this to 25K a month, but because I have to be actively involved, I am um, giving myself only eight months of uh, 25K income because otherwise, 
otherwise you know it would be just too high in terms of my estimation for the next year so 25 multiplied by a is 200k again i'm not calculating any taxes here and i'm not calculating money that goes uh, to my salesperson now the next source of income is something really exciting that we built in the past couple of years is my youtube school and um, i have a youtube course in english that you know about uh, that helps you grow the channel and make money on the channel i have the same course in russian but there is another course that we recently launched in russian and this is a course for youtube managers so basically we help people uh, become YouTube managers who help uh, YouTubers upload their videos, create scripts, build this ecosystem around their channel. And this course has been, well, for me, the first batch has been a huge success because I was able to hire another manager. My friends, uh, my YouTuber friends were able to hire managers from that course. And uh, my goal is to build like this ecosystem around YouTube, still working on it. And uh, we hired a completely new team uh, in September 2020. And um, the revenue went up but also expenses went up so on average last year we're making around 90 to 100k um, in revenue uh, through those courses but 50 percent of that money sometimes even more goes to expenses because we have a huge team we have uh, tutors who help our students we have methodologists who help me with a program uh, because it all has to be structured if there is something i can talk about because i don't have enough expertise then we pay experts to come in and talk to our students so there's just a lot of expense associated with running such a school because I'm gonna kind of fall out of the process for a couple of months and uh, I also do a lot of marketing and I'm involved in creating new courses I estimate this to be around 70k a month multiplied by 12 months is 840k I know if my team is watching this they're like Marina but our internal goals are much higher whenever I'm making financial plans I try to make them a little lower but, but because again, we're not even calculating expenses here. And as I said, over 50% of the revenue that we make goes into supporting the school. And then we have digital products that I've created. I've created them a while ago. It was in 2019, uh, a month before delivering Emily. I think we finalized the, those digital products and we launched them on the day I was delivering Emily. That was, that was kind of funny. And because we had so much traffic, the website uh, stopped working and uh, because I was delivering, I couldn't do anything. So we lost like a couple hours, but yeah, it was uh, being a mom and being an entrepreneur is, is a hilarious journey when something like this happens. But anyways, so these products just generate 3K a month and uh, doesn't really depend on how much I'm promoting them because I've already integrated them in some videos before. They are basically on Lingua Marina, like digital workbooks for English language learners, over 180 pages with a lot of exercises, a lot of like visual stuff and each costs $8. And I just integrated them in my videos and uh, I keep selling them. And the only expense there now is paying for the platform where I run the sales and it's called Equid. And I think they charge something around 20 to $30 a month. So there is not much cost associated with this product and uh, I don't have to be actively involved. So we just multiply three by 12 and we get 36 K additionally to my source of income. And if we sum everything up, we get to $1,280,000. Again, this is an estimate and uh, I'm not talking about LinguaTrip here because LinguaTrip is always up and down, up and down. And I have a salary there, but it also depends on company's performance from time to time. But I get an insurance from LinguaTrip, which is also worth mentioning. But LinguaTrip is a company where we work on growing all the time. And uh, you know, this, this is our pathway to Silicon Valley, the way I call it. And uh, I wouldn't call it a company that generates a lot of cash for founders. I would call it a company where we explore, where we learn and where we grow as, as founders. So I decided to not include Lingua Trips money here. So this is it. This is my plan for 2021. Nobody knows what's going to happen. I don't really know how hard it's going to be with the two kids starting in June. And um, I decided that I'm going to take May off. So I would still create videos, but I won't be doing too much stuff because last time when I was working, like even a couple of days before delivery, I made a lot of mistakes because my brain was like all hormones and uh, it took us a month <laughs> to get over those mistakes and uh, my team knows what I'm talking about but yeah uh, so I'm taking the last month off now I know myself and what I'm capable of when hormones take over my head so and again thank you so much guys for watching my videos and uh, smashing the like button and subscribing to this channel we'll see you very soon bye bye